So welcome back to another episode and it's a really special episode today. Um, I put a story on Instagram if you guys remember about a goal in particular that, that I hit. Um, I didn't kind of forecast to hit this till I was probably 30 or even ever at all. Um, and this goal is about giving back to, to the people that have given to me over the years. So we're not just going to talk about the goal, we're going to talk about how I got to that position in terms of goal setting and how I structure my goal setting from the start of the year to the end and how I review those. So there's going to be some value for you guys, as well as, of course, the reveal of what the goal were. Um, so we're going to dive into the detail of that today um, and get that announcement kind of announced because a lot of people showed a lot of interest in that goal and it means a lot to me and I'm going to give rationale and reason behind why I chose to do what I've done um, and I feel like it's going to show you guys a different side to me. The thoughtful Ben, um, the one who's got feelings, so I'm excited to kind of showcase that. So I want to kick off with goal setting and the importance. So it's going to sound cliche but on the 1st of January every year, no matter how heavy my head is, no matter what I'm doing, I always write down my goals and that's going to sound like, right, okay, that's fine writing down your goals but how do I break those down? So what I'll do is I'll have five to ten business goals five to ten personal goals and then for me because my physique is essentially part of my business i'll have five to ten physique goals which actually this year i struggled to populate because in terms of physique development i want to just maintain um but what i then do is once i've broken those down into those three areas is i'll populate those with time time scales so i break those down so what i'll do is i'll have a reflection of what i want to achieve over 12 months what I want to achieve over six months and what I want to achieve over three months for each of those. So for example, to bring that to life, physique goals. So what I wanted to do heading into this year was be in immaculate shape by Dubai and Miami. So that was kind of a short term goal in order to do that. I needed to invest in a coach, which I did at the back end of last year and be meticulous with my diet and training. I ticked off that by checking in and being accountable to a coach every week, which resulted in me being immaculate shape, providing absolutely excellent content in Dubai and soon to be Miami. Now, from a business perspective, what I'll always do is some financial ones and then make sure they're not only just financial, but they're aligned with what I'm doing through my social media to, to kind of generate that financial lead. Um, so for example, for Instagram, I'm not gonna show you my own personal goals or business or physique because they're private to me, but Instagram goal by the end of this year um, is to be at 100,000 followers. So at the start of the year, I was at 39,000. I think today we'll, we'll have a look. So today I'm actually on 55.8. So that growth already is, is, is on trend. And, and how I broke that goal down was like, right, I'm gonna have to have Alex everywhere with me. In order for me to grow my Instagram, I'm gonna have to take content to another level. I can't just keep taking gym selfies or posting workouts. I need to really take it to another level. So this is why there's that heather, heavily amount of invested uh, funds into content to generate and hit that goal because as a byproduct of that what's happened I've gained almost 20,000 followers I've now signed a deal with Boohoo I've got a new contract with Bulk so can you see how these goals align and come together um, so yeah in order to kind of summarize that and give you a little bit of an understanding break your goals down into what's important to you so it's not always going to be business personal physique tailor it to you and what you require and then break it down into time frames but then Put an action plan of how you're going to achieve those goals in those time frames and then you will hit your goals now i appreciate not everybody is in a position to have videographers following them everywhere producing content um, and i'm all about kind of giving back to you guys and helping you along your journeys as, as much as possible and you may remember a particular clip on my third ever youtube video probably nine to twelve months ago where ben hawks have said that i would be one of the best coaches in the uk there's one thing I know since I met Ben Bray, he has you know, turned his job around. He's been one of, he will literally be one of the best online coaches in the UK within 12 months with the rate of his growth so far. But what he's going to say, if he's, if he's launched a YouTube channel, he will do it properly and see it through. So 100% keep watching because there's some uh, fun stuff coming out. So by him saying that, it was, was almost like a a driving factor for me to, to kind of lead by example and achieve that goal and I can comfortably sit here now and say I'm probably within the top five coaches in terms of results and quality of service um, and that's generally where my primary source of income comes from so that's where I've set the goal last year I was like right in terms of goal setting it needs to be business focused I want to be one of the best coaches in the UK so I was relentless in the pursuit of education results quality of service 
investing into my clients. And I feel like you guys are only just seeing the tip of the iceberg, so you're seeing the rise. But what we're gonna do on our trip to Miami is we're gonna take you on, on, on the journey so far. So Ben Bray is a 16, 17 year old. What was I doing? What was I doing at 18, 19, 20? Because you're gonna see all that and you're gonna understand where I've come from, what I've done and how I've got to this position. Again, to give back to you, to show you obviously where I've invested my time, where I've invested my money, how I've grown, what resource I've used, what mentors I've used. We're gonna dive into the full detail. Um, but yeah, I guess kind of the, the point I'm trying to get across is the importance of goal setting, the importance of structure in that goal setting and breaking it down into time scales. So we're gonna to cut to the chase. We've talked about goal setting. I've given you a little bit of value and structure in terms of how to approach your goals. So what was a big personal goal that I achieved? So business allowed me to achieve this goal. So you can see how I structured them. But what I've managed to do um, at the young age of 27 is retire my mum. So that's the, the big personal goal that I've, I've ticked off. Um, and I wanna talk why I've done that. So as I've grown up, I had a good upbringing, um, brilliant parents, um, brilliant kind of family. and. They gave me everything in terms of what I needed to, to grow as an individual. Don't get me wrong, I wasn't brought in, up in a, an upper class family. It's a working class family where I've worked for everything that I've got, but I've, I've had a great support system. And in terms of what my mum did for me, when I was bodybuilding from me like 18, 19, every single meal prep she made, um, she, she, she was in a position to just really kind of be there for me and give everything that I needed. Um, and. That was the first thing that I ever wanted to do when, when I kind of started doing well from a business perspective and, and kind of achieving things that I've set out to achieve over the years. I looked and thought, what really gives me satisfaction? And you know what? I've walked into to designer outlets, I've bought designer bags, and I feel like I've been robbed for a week after. Like, it's fine if people enjoy that kind of things, and I'm not saying I'm never going to do that again. But what I really get satisfaction from is seeing the people close to me and around me smile, spread love good vibes and if they're doing that, I'm going to be happier. My support system is going to be happier. So as a byproduct of that, there's going to be less stress. Just generally the mood is going to be a lot better. So yeah, she's going to be helping me out with a little bit of admin. Um, so she, she's not fully retired, but yeah, she's going to be in a position to, to look, see my nephew whenever she wants, spend time with family help out where she needs to and just put her feet up. She's, she's done enough meal preps to, to last her a lifetime and um, yeah, I just wanted to give you a little bit of insight in terms of what I've achieved and why I've chose to, to, to retire my mum essentially. So I talked about earlier being associated with big brands So and I talked about my mum still doing a couple of jobs for me. So she's kindly put together the little wardrobe of the new uh, collection that Boohoo have got coming out on Thursday. Um, so it's the Active Seamless collection. So we're just about to shoot this my mum's put it all together, nice and easy. Um, and I hope that you took away from this a lot of value in terms of goal setting. Um, I hope it came across well in terms of what I've done and what I've achieved from my goals uh, in terms of allowing my mum to retire and spend some brilliant time with Jude and the rest of the family and also be my little bit of an assistant. Uh, but as always, thank you for watching. Remember to like, comment and subscribe. And before I leave you, we go to Miami on Sunday, uh, so stay tuned for that content.